coordinates locked. What's going on everybody? This is the Game Hunter channel with a special episode Empires and Allies. Finally, finally the game got released. Finally! <laughs> so, in this episode we're going to start with reviewing a couple of replays. As we always do. That is super important because that's the best way to know and learn um, regarding our base and see how it's performing. You can find all those flaws, you can find the good spots and everything. So let's take a look to this one. So far I see I think it's a Hellfire missile and a A-10. Or oh, here comes a bunch of tanks. And with a lion support, that's that's trouble because with an lion support you do extra damage. So let's see our artillery can hold the ground for a few. Oh, I can't believe I survived this one. If I survive, <laughs> I'm not really sure, but uh, things don't <laughs> are not looking are not looking great but here comes my commandos commandos should be able to help me a little bit the good thing is that most of the tanks are moving all over the place so using the the first kit is um, it's a little bit problematic okay you cannot cover all the units but in general i'm doing a really good job with artillery the sentry guns the watchtowers and now i've got more reinforcements another tank is coming trying to engage two of those vehicles um, so far the artillery is doing just fine the good thing is that the tanks are, are targeting my anti-air defensive building instead of the artillery artillery will be perfect because if they bring the artillery down I can guarantee they can destroy my my headquarter but good news for me that didn't happen <laughs> and so far the artillery was capable look at it still still alive that's why it's so important to upgrade your defensive buildings because the more you upgrade your defensive building, the more uh, hit points they're gonna have, the more damage they're gonna do. Okay, super, super important. That's the last one. I think you ran away. Yes, yes, my friend. Good luck next time. I will wait for you. <laughs> Let's finish this. There you go. Let's finish this uh, replay and see if we can go for another one. All right, here we go. Cargando repetición. I will tell you that in a few seconds. <laughs> Hellfire missile. Really good one. High level Hellfire. Almost hey, brought down my artillery. Down. And that A10. Yep. Did an awesome, awesome job bringing down the artillery and doing some decent damage against that uh, watchtowers. I got my commandos. My commanders are quite decent. So they can actually engage these tanks for a few seconds. I got another tank coming. I'm wondering if there's more troops coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see. There's some more rangers coming from the top. Which, of course, they're not going to have any issues destroying my drones. Because the drones are not good against infantry. <laughs> Basically, that's what happened. So far, I'm holding okay. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Uh, those rangers in the, in the north part of my base could be trouble. But I got a sentry gun in there. At the bottom, uh, those tanks are doing a really decent job destroying buildings. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to speed up things a little bit. The rangers now are getting in range of the watchtower. So they're in trouble. And those tanks are really in good... They're not really good shape. Oh, well, they're not regenerated. Drones are coming. That's even worse. <laughs> but I was able to stop them on their track. Perfect, perfect. Oh, they decided to run away. That's fine. That's fine. So, oh, no, actually, that was a flare. Okay. But the problem is that I don't know if you will be able to get anything. That building is down. If I decide one more time to go for the headquarters, probably it's too late. Probably it's too late. 20 seconds. Wow, this is going to be a really close call. Close call. Nine, seven, four, three, two, one. And <laughs> we were able to survive. Super, super important. That last uh, flare was uh, probably a mistake. Probably wasn't necessary to move those tanks that far away otherwise the headquarters was really boring about that point but that's good as you can hear I don't know you can hear from there my troops are speaking Spanish are you kidding me that was what was the last patch before the the war while release they add some languages and uh, I was so thrilled when I start hearing the troops speaking in Spanish and everything is 
I love it. Anyway, so what we're we gonna do? Let me just change it back to English. Oh, these guys are awesome. The game is gonna come back in a few seconds. That's a good thing. I don't need to wait for too long. Um, just changing over there in the settings, and you can change the language of your game. Perfect. Back to normal. Let's see. Armor division, perfect, 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 perfect. So things are looking quite okay. Like I said, they, it's, I'm really happy with the official worldwide release of Empires and Allies. So now we're gonna have plenty, plenty of things to do. Okay. One of the things that I want to show you in this episode is the dome. Remember the dome that it was well, the sentry gun and everything, and and everybody's upgrading the sentry gun. It was pretty cool. Okay, it's a really decent defensive building. But remember. You can change also the weapon of your dome. Because at level 9, I got headquarter level 9. Now you can change that. You click in there. And then look at what we have. The Thel. Tactical high energy laser. Devastating against large ground attackers. Damage increases at its focus on a single target. Wow. <laughs> deadly, deadly, deadly. So what we're going to do. And it's actually really simple. You just tap in the new turret. Look at that. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that cool or what? Oh, man. See, now I can create like a more balanced defense. Uh, that dome, the Thel, is going to help me to engage against tanks. That's why I wanted to upgrade it. That, that's why it's, it's probably useful to have one of those uh, turrets defending your base. See, you need to mix between the sentry guns and also we can have some of those uh, thels actually we're gonna do it we're gonna have two thels and two sentry guns why because a lot of people are attacking basically with the um, tanks okay that that's a really common vehicle at this stage of the game so that's it's a really good counter for tanks I can't, I, you know, honestly, I can't wait. Can't wait to see an action. Unfortunately, I forgot about doing this switch before. Otherwise, I might probably have a, a replay or something. But now, don't worry. Game is officially released. So now we're going to be doing videos quite, quite, quite often. So let's go into battle. Oh, I'm going to show you something before I forget. Uh, let's go back real quick because um, as I showed you in one of the, pre in the previous episode about the strike force, remember, you can use teammates. Uh, to enforce some of your buildings well now let's use one of these to enforce our troops look at that it's going to increase troop damage and increase troop health so we're going to use that one the only problem is only stand for 10 minutes it's still worth it it's still completely worth it you have a couple minutes to play you cannot miss this opportunity okay let's uh using uh mokai perfect mokai you're gonna help me in this video and we're gonna use you in this other tarmac okay now let's get into action. It's time to control Africa. All right, let's go for this one. Let's scout in Ghana and see what we have. Trying to do a tactical as possible. Trying to show all the new players strategy. Okay. See, I, as the in the left side in the units available, you're gonna see those uh, portrait with a little icon that is showing you which troops have the strike force bonus. Okay. Super easy to understand. All right, so now while we're going to start this one, we're going to attack. And we're going to start probably with an A-10. A-10 is a devastating uh, airstrike. Um, actually, affect the complete area. So let's see, probably we can put this one right in the middle. Right in the middle. So it's... Oh, that was sweet. <laughs> actually, I wasn't expecting to destroy that, but you know, I'll take it. See, we can. I have enough energy now. Remember, every time that you destroy buildings, and let me let me go back for a second. I know, I know, probably a lot of things that I'm gonna mention in this uh, in these episodes is probably things that I'm already say before. But the reason is because we have a plenty, plenty of new players, so it's really important to have some um, to to share our knowledge to the new members of the Empire and Allies family, right? Perfect. That was actually a really easy base to attack using the A10. It's super, super critical. I strongly recommend you to strongly recommend you to upgrade upgrade that. Um. Okay, let's go over here. Let's scout Togo. 
strongly recommend to upgrade the A10. Super, super important. All right, so what do we have in here? This is a base already, and this is going to be tough. Okay, it's trying to analyze. One airstrike in here. One airstrike over there. Quice. Oh, airstrike. <laughs> artillery! That's what I meant. Um, another artillery over here, but it's really low level, which is probably level 2. Okay, this one is level 3. Not too bad. And we got a guard tower in here. Another guard tower over here. Trying to find a good spot for my A10. Probably I'm not gonna deploy an A10 right away. Probably we can wait for a few seconds. Oh, okay. We can probably start attacking from this area. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go and see. All right, the troops are moving, so that's they're patrolling. So maybe I can use my A10 to deploy this unit. Uh, actually, gonna deploy the A10 right there. Hopefully, I will be able to destroy those drums. Yep. Almost, almost done. Okay, so now we got what we're gonna do is deploy some infantry. Because infantry is really good against, uh, super, super good against uh, those drones. Put some tanks, some artillery in the back. There you go, the stomachhawks. Extremely powerful, powerful unit. Okay, here it comes. Drums, so we gotta be ultra careful. We're gonna play some more infantry units in here. Hopefully, we'll be able to bring down those drums in a few seconds. Perfect, I got some medics in there. Oh, they're doing an awesome, awesome, awesome job. I mean, my tanks are rolling in this base at this point. They are rolling. Okay, we're gonna deploy an A10 in there just to bring down their artillery. Wow, perfect strike! Wow, that was crazy. That was just crazy. You're gonna probably help fire. To attack that tank over there perfect first kid probably we can get all the troops together use a flare and now we can probably deploy an a10 over here to bring down the last turret see ya <laughs> that was pretty fun <laughs> nice victory sour that was a good attack that was a good attack like i say in all my attacks i'm gonna try to share um, some of the strategies that i've been learning during the Oh, General Super Uber, the lion. Your victories will not end what I have built. This land belonged to me, and no other. Uh, my friend, I, I don't know. I don't think so. You know what? What are we gonna do? We're gonna come back. Let's go back to the base and uh, get our troops back because uh, I think we lost a couple of. Uh, there you go. Ranger squad. Mm, now we're gonna just get some troops. It's gonna take a couple seconds. Perfect. Super, super important. If you start playing. Empire and allies look for an alliance as soon as possible. Okay, super important because then you're gonna start using the bonus of the strike force. Okay, and the strike force is so important because you can get bonuses uh, on defense, offense, and also you can start helping your team. Let's go over here real quick. Um, over there, so you can donate and help your teammates so they can finish their building faster. That is so, so, so cool. Okay, we can donate also resources, but for now, I'm not gonna do that part. I'm gonna do it in a few more minutes once that I have more resources, okay? All right, I think we're ready. Yes, that's one other thing that I love about this game that you can get your troops back so, so, so fast. All right, here we go. Let's keep moving in this. Level 23. I Ramon 072. All right, let's take a look. Special episode, worldwide release of Empires and Allies. I have a special episode coming in the future. I cannot say anything about it. <laughs> but stay tuned. Stay tuned to my channel. Because things, so a lot of interesting things are going to happen. Okay, I have an idea that probably I'm going to deploy the A-10 in here. See? Between the artillery, the guard tower, and the doom. The dome, sorry. So we will deploy the A-10 right in the middle. Chances are that we can get some decent, decent um, command points to use. Oh, actually, this base, one of the problems that this base has, oh, do you know what, hold on. Before doing that, let me deploy the A-10. Because the A-10, hopefully, we'll be able to also do some damage to those drums. Ah, wasn't good enough. Okay, you know what? Using the Hellfire, with the Hellfire, artillery down, perfect. 
More command points needed. Destroy more villains. Yes, we need more command points now. But uh, the good thing about this is... Actually, bad thing about this base is that you can actually deploy inside the base. See those green marks? That show you that you can actually deploy inside the base. Ooh, okay, that's really difficult and scary. That is exactly the, the remember the the cell? Oh, he's right there. Perfect. My, my, my tanks were able to bring it down. Awesome. Now we need to bring down the other one before most of my vehicles are gonna get in, oh, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. Definitely in trouble. Okay, guys, we need to get together. Get together. Flare inbound. Perfect. There you go. Now that we're together, we can start attacking one more time. Super, super careful. What we're going to do, we're going to probably get close to the artillery. Let's go and bring down the artillery. And also, we're going to deploy our first A kit. The artillery should be able to go down a few seconds. Perfect. We're doing just fine. We can probably target the the guard tower over here just to make sure that we are not losing more troops. So far, we're doing just fine, right? And now we should be able to destroy the headquarter. Perfect. A10 for the picture. <laughs> Booyah! Nice. Tanks are rolling. We can use that EMP. We, they're definitely going to use the EMP in here. Look at that. With the EMP, we're going to completely disable all these buildings. Super, super important. Let's target now the artillery because otherwise we are going to be in trouble one more time. We have enough point to use one more time the EMP. And I recommend you to do it. Oh, more drones are coming. No good. Definitely no good. I need more soldiers. You know what? Probably it's time to run away. Probably. You know what? Probably it's time to run away. Probably. Oh, probably not. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Objective complete. Victory is ours, but whoa, those fields are really deadly on defense. Wow, we just learned a new lesson. It's completely worth it to upgrade it because those tanks are going down like nothing. Wow, that was awesome. That was a really good fight. Get a good fight. We got some loot, of course. Uh, we learned a valuable lesson. Those field domes are terrible. They're super, super powerful. Wow. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need to change all of them. Okay, I got this one with a feel. Uh, this one is a feel. This is a sentry gun. Okay, we're just gonna keep it that way for now. We're gonna keep it that way for now. We're gonna do this one over here. Here, we're gonna try to get this uh, sentry gun a little bit closer. We can probably destroy this tree and get some, some gold. That's one of the ways that you have to get some gold. Perfect. Let me see, as soon as we finish, we can move the, the supply drop and get a little bit more space in here. Oh, yes, yeah, we got two gold. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Remember, don't place your defenses too close, okay? Don't put your defenses too close one to the other because uh, one, eight, ten, and you can say goodnight to your defense. <laughs> I'm sure by now you are ready, guys. You guys know already, right? Okay, so we need to be ultra careful. Actually, I need to, I'm gonna need to reorganize my base. That's something that is it's one of my future projects, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this special episode. The final, finally, 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 the release Worldwide Empires and Allies is here. I hope you guys are enjoying this game. And don't forget, like, subscribe, share my videos, and watch my videos. Probably you're gonna learn something about Empires and Allies. This is the Game Hunter signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, soldiers.